Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Masood Olia, and I'm a professor in uh, School of Engineering at uh, Ventford University, and I'm back with another video. Uh, I just made a video uh, related to uh, moment of inertia of an I-beam. Um, if you search for it, you can find that. Uh, so this time, actually, I have an unsymmetric cross-section. This is like a C, a channel shape beam that is not symmetric. Uh, and we want to find the moment of inertia with respect to x prime axis. Now, x prime axis is what? x prime, so find i with respect to x prime axis. x prime axis is the axis that passes through the centroid of this shape, OK? And um, the first thing we have to do is to find what is the location of x prime relative to, let's say, x axis, the base of this. So as usual, guys, I appreciate it if you uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please uh, press that. And that will help me to, you know, reach to, um, to more, uh, you know, my videos to more audience. OK, so let's talk about this, guys. Uh, so first, you have to find the y bar, meaning the location of that x prime axis. So how do you find y bar? Remember, the formula is first moment of area with respect to x-axis summation of y a divided by total area how are you going to break this clearly it's the easiest way is to break it into three pieces probably uh sorry break it into something like this maybe something like this and another rectangle here okay it, it, it it's it's entirely up to you guys how you want to break it so uh, y means, uh, remember, there are three pieces here. That's the location of the centroid of each shape relative to the reference. My reference right now is the x-axis, OK? That's how I want to measure the location of uh, the centroid. So uh, clearly, you could see that's 15 millimeters from the base, right? What's the area of that piece? That area of that piece is 170 by 30. We see what I have here. This is the lowercase y bar, and this is the area. You got to do this for the other pieces. So I think I'm going to run out of space here. But let's see what we can do. So what about this piece here? Where is the centroid of that guy? Well, the centroid of that guy happens to be, uh, let's see, this is uh, 200. So it would be 100 millimeters, uh, right? So 100 millimeters from the base. And what's the area? Is it 30 by, looks like 200. And I have one more piece, guys, here that I'm going to add it here. So that would be this guy. So this one, the centroid is here. Uh, and be very careful, guys. Everything is relative to the reference. So you have 170 here, up to here, and then another 15. So that's 185, right? Uh, and then what's the area? Area is 30 by, looks like 70. Looks like everything is messy, so maybe I should erase this. So what did I say? I said 30 by 70. So 30 by 70. And remember, in the denominator, guys, you have all the total area. So 170 by 30, that's this guy. Then a 30 by 200, right? And then finally that, Smaller area, 30 by 70. All right, do the calculation, guys. This should come out to be, uh, looks like about 80.68 millimeters. So the location of this, so this distance now, we know is 80.68. I'm going to just round it to 80.7 millimeters, OK? Remember, we did it based on our reference being what? x-axis. OK, so that's the first thing we have to do. Now, where do we go from here? This is where the parallaxis equation comes in. First of all, uh, in, you've seen it probably in other videos that um, I, with respect to a rectangle, a rectangular section of the width of B and H, I sub x is what? 112 BHQ. I mentioned that. You should really remember this formula. This is a very important formula, 112 BHQ. Now, what does parallaxis equation say? 
parallaxis equation says that if you have some cross-sectional area, right? Let's say the centroid is here and you have this axis and you have I with respect to this axis, that would be I bar. Now, let's say you want to find I with respect to another axis, red axis, which is a distance D from the centroidal axis. The parallaxis equation, or it's actually a theorem, says, okay, you want to do that? I is equal to I bar, and I bar is usually the 112 bh cube. You see, that's the I sub X is I bar X. Plus, I mean, for rectangular section, of course, I mean, which is, which is the case here. Plus, area of your cross section times distance squared. That's the formula of parallaxis equation formula. Okay, let's try to apply that. Again, we wanna make this into what? Maybe the same three pieces that we use for calculation of the centroid. So this piece, right? Then maybe I should use a different color, black for this one. And then the last piece, you remember that I used it already for the centroid was this one. Okay, so remember, you gotta apply, uh, and you're gonna add them up, right? Superposition. So uh, how are we gonna do this? Let me start with this guy. So we say, okay, uh, this is the centroidal axis of the shape. I wanna transfer it now to here. You see, that would be D for this first one. So we say, okay, let me see if I could get some room and squeeze everything here. So I with respect now to X prime axis is 112, B is 170, right? H is what? 30 cube plus area, right? Area times D squared. D is what I showed you here. That's the D. Area is what? This is a 170 by 30. And what is the distance, guys? You can clearly see that distance would be 80.7 minus 15, half of this 30, right? Square. So that take care of the first piece. Let's go to this one, to this second piece. Let me actually get rid of these. You know, I don't want to make it too messy. All right, to this second piece. Remember now, where is the centroid of this guy? Is is somewhere here, 100 millimeters, right? So this is the 100 millimeters, half of 200. So the distance D is now this to the centroidal axis. Okay, plus 112, what's B 30? What's H uh, 200 looks like cube plus area, which is 30 by 200 times D squared. What is D this time is 100 minus 80.7 squared. So that will take care of that piece. Let me get rid of it. I don't want to make it too messy. All right, finally, this piece here, right? So that's a centroidal axis. What's the distance to here or D? Uh, probably the quickest way is um, we have a 15, see to the top, uh, to, to, to here, to, to this distance, we have what? We have 200 minus 15, so that's 185 in a way, right? So it's 185 minus 80.7, that D. All right, so continue with the same formula. 112, B, 170, H, 30, right? Cube plus area, which is 170 by 30. Of course, I'm talking about area of that small piece here. Times D, D, I said the easiest way is to do 185 minus 80.7 square. Sometimes people forget to square things. All right, when you add all these, when you add all these, we end up getting 67, or should get something very close to 67.6 .6 times 10 to the six millimeters to power four. Remember, this I is important in calculation of what bending stresses that are developed about uh, this axis. So 
you always need to locate the centroid which we did and then use parallaxis equation along with the, uh, the typical 112 bh cube uh, to be able to calculate the moment of inertia. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and I appreciate if you subscribe and like my video and I will see you soon.